breath. Ooh. And shake out all the stress. What's up, YouTube? I'm currently in a different location. And by different location, I mean in my closet. I have a blanket up to try and cover all of the uh, stuff in my closet. So we have a different um, little outlook here. I wanted to try something different than what I had been doing. My hair is freshly washed and kind of limp and weird. I didn't want to put it in a tight bun, but I also didn't want it on my neck. But I wanted to try something different. Because um, where I usually film... Oops, Still got some hair product in there. Where I normally film is occupied space. Oh, it feels disgusting. I'm gonna put it back up. Maybe, maybe a side pony will look better than the side pony will look better than the bun. Nope, still looks pretty trash. Anyway, I'm in my closet today because one, my normal filming space is occupied at the moment, and two, everything for this particular video that I wanted to show is up in my closet. <sighs> now I'm all paranoid, or self-conscious rather, about the way this bun looks. That's better, I guess. Okay, so what we're coming in to talk about today is Funko Pops. Now, my sister and her boyfriend go to the farmer's market, like, whenever they open the farmer's market, like, every couple of weekends or every other weekend or whatever, they go to the farmer's market. And this particular weekend was the Flint Comics Con. Now, if you saw my Get Ready With Me video, you saw how I dressed up and everything, but I want to show you um, this, this Comic Con comics con rather is where i first started my new collection well this is this is where i got my first pops from which has then which is now turned into uh quite the collection if i do say so myself i mean it's small like there's there's probably people with way more pops than what i have but i think it's pretty good so far and i told myself i'm only gonna get pops of things that i like and i'm not necessarily gonna be uh completing sets per se but i think i think there may be a few sets that i am interested in completing so i guess we'll just start with um what i have right now so they're all in kind of bagged up in my closet right now because <clears throat> I still have yet to get like a shelf or something to display them on. I wasn't sure if I was going to be the kind of collector that keeps them in the box or pulls them out. I think I'm going to keep them in the box. My daughter has her. She's got um, a Care Bear that the lady gifted us. So at the, at the con, there was a booth, well, a setup rather, not necessarily booth setup, but a setup for Pop Gods. I'll put their link in the description, the link to their Facebook, but they are talking to them and interacting with them and going through the different pops that they had is what got me started and they're who i got my first pops from so i'll definitely go through that bag first so but they'll definitely be in the description so the first pops hold off i'm i think i might be missing a bag dang it i thought i had everything but this seems this seems not it Oh. here we go the first bag so the first pop that i was like well i don't know because she asked me well what do you like what kind of things do you like and i was like well i like superheroes and i like disney and she was showing me like old disney stuff that meh like i wasn't necessarily interested in diamond tinkerbell and things like that but the first one i picked up was this raven and oh my gosh she looks so cool like wow so this is this is a raven from uh teen titans go which i know there's some controversy around that about how not the original teen titans the original teen titans was so much better the show was so trash da, da, da. but i don't know i enjoy the show i tend to separate it from the original animation like i just don't associate the two like i the way i see it is this is kind of like um a, a spoof or a parody of of the real thing of different of tropes that necessarily weren't very big in the original animation are things that they're blowing out of proportion in teen titans go so like a caricature like a caricature if you could think it that way teen titans go is a caricature of the original animation but one of the episodes that i really enjoyed was um 
the night begins to shine where they change they change up the whole animation style and cyborg was singing and stuff and they all had different um outfits and what have you so this was raven and her outfit from the night begins to shine and if you look on the back for the set i now i have raven and then i have a cyborg and bear which to be honest i didn't i didn't remember bear at all from that episode but maybe i was too engrossed in the singing but here is cyborg i got him from pop gods too so cyborg and raven and cyborg looks really cool and he's got like this this mohawk uh mullet thing and like purple knee pads and it looks it looks really cool like i was like wow i could really i could really get into this and then here is bear i don't know how well you can see his but he's in there and he's bigger than um now i thought that they'd have all similar molds i thought when I initially saw Funko Pops, I thought they would all be similar molds, and then you just, you know, you change the little details on them. But everything is totally different. So the mold of Raven's body and a head and everything is totally different from the mold for Cyborg's body and head. And even between males, like there, is way different than Cyborg. And then I thought, well, maybe, maybe there's three types. You know, you have the bigger male, smaller male, and then the female body type. But I also have got Trigun, which has some uh, similarities to Bear, but they're still vastly different body types. So I was like, okay, so each one of these is vastly different. And I like that. I can get into that. Each thing's different. It's not, it's not the same. Like, there's not there's not so much similarity between pops that it's like, well, if I have this one, I don't need this one, if that makes sense. So I got these four. And then also a Joker. I got a Joker from Pop Gods as well. And I think, I don't know. I told myself that I wasn't going to just be collecting Jokers and Harleys, but I might. I might just, it doesn't matter what set they're supposed to go with or what have you, because I don't know. I just enjoy them so much. So those are the ones that I got from Pop Gods, and that is how I started my collection. And since then, I've been to numerous um, Game Stops, um, Walmart, except the Walmart near us didn't have any pops, and I was really disappointed. I've been to numerous Game Stops, Hot Topics, um, Barnes & Noble. I didn't check in the Schuler books, but they might have those in there too. But um, here are the couple of others that I got from the con. I don't know. Uh, I got them from somebody else's booth, but I can't remember their names right now. If I find it, I'll put it in the description box. But I got a Reptar from Rugrats, because he's Reptar, and I love Reptar. Reptar's the coolest. I also got him from the Powerpuff Girls, and I'm like, I was so excited. And the guy at the booth was like, well, we only, I only ordered one of him because someone told me he wasn't going to be popular. But I came right up and was like, oh, that's the one. And then he's like, we're having a deal, three for whatever. So I found two more, and that was Reptar and this next one. But him him is it and i'm like well maybe i should get the powerpuff girls but i might i might just stop at him if i find if i find any more villains like if i find um mojo jojo or fuzzy lumpkins if i find a fuzzy lumpkins he's coming home with me point blank period if i find a fuzzy lumpkins they should make a set oh my goodness i don't know if they have a set of like the gang green gang or or the amoeba boys but i jump on that so so there's him and then i got an organization 13 mickey and he's so cute and i was like well i don't want to just be getting mickey mouses but mickey might be uh might get a small collection of his own as well put these back so i started i seen some bombshell dc ladies that i was like i think i might that's when i decided that i might want to actually complete a set and i'm so mad at myself because so i got hot girl the hot topic exclusive hot girl and i fell on her like there was just there was just no way to catch myself and I was, I was so angry. So that's when I caught to the thought of, well, maybe I'll take them out of the box because now her box is ruined. But I don't think I'd sell Hot Girl anyway, in the future anyway. So her box is kind of jank now because I fell on her. But there she is, Hot Topic exclusive DC Comics bombshell Hot Girl. And I also got a few others. I got... This is Duella Dent from the same um, collection of them. But her box is kind of jank, but hers was kind of jank in the store. So, well, it's not it's not that jank. It's just got a little a little crease right here and then a little crease across the back. So it's not that bad, but, oh, and a little rip on the bottom right here. So it's not that bad, but I've got Hot Girl, Duella Dent, and then Catwoman. I'm still looking for Batwoman, Supergirl, Ivy, and um, Harley. But I've heard that Ivy and Harley are going to be the most difficult to find. So I got Duella Dent and Hot Girl from Hot Topic. And then also from Hot Topic, I got... Well, let me finish. Here's Catwoman. I got her from Michaels, though. Not um, not Hot Topic to go with the bombshells. 
look, I think Catwoman might be my favorite out of the bombshells that I have so far. Um, Ivy's definitely going to be um, number one. Uh, Harley's going to be number two. I, because normally Harley's my first pick, but like bombshell Poison Ivy looks amazing. So I think that uh, Ivy's going to be my first pick for that. And then I also got from the Hot Topic, I got a Coco Bandicoot and a Crash Bandicoot. Both from um, like the regular game, not the not the not the racing game so here's coco she's so cute and sassy and then here is crash and then later on i got a tiny the tiger because i was so mad at myself that i didn't buy him the first time so let me see if i can find tiny yep here he is i got tiny at gamestop not hot topic but look at tiny look at how cute he is tiny is one of my favorite characters and if you ever play me and uh Crash Team Racing, I'm usually racing as Tiny or as Pura, but as of late, it's just been, I've been racing as Tiny all the time. And then, to finish out the Hot Topic ones, I got a Hula Lilo, which uh, Pop Gods had a um, a stitch that I didn't get, and I'm kind of mad at myself, so I might check them out again to see if they still have it, but I have a Hula Lilo, and I have a Diamond Harley Quinn like original outfit Harley and I think I may want to cosplay as a diamond Harley Quinn because this is so cute and she's got hearts she's got hearts on her shoulder and then well in the picture she does on the actual pop there's still diamonds but I think I'd like to do the hearts because the hearts would be super cool but this is she's so cute and look at her little mallet and she's all sparkly and stuff bomb so let me see I've been going out of order this is the last pop thing that I got from the con it's a mug of the joker and the lady sold it to me for five dollars and I was like are you are you sure about that <laughs> has anyone seen that meme of john cena where he busts through people put that in stuff all the time where he busts his head through the thing are you sure about that that's how i felt but i didn't say that because i'm like i'll take it i'll take it for five dollars i might take that one out of the box just because it's an actual mug i might use it now see my legs feel bad and i don't know if i want to sit in the closet for the rest of these videos that i'm gonna film today like i was planning to okay i think we can go through the ones i got at michael's so i have this princess tiana that i got in my first raid at michael's that i also um I only bought Princess Tiana that time, and that's when I saw the Catwoman, and then I later on decided, well, if she's still at Michael, I'll go back and get her. And then I went back again, and I didn't realize that it was the same Princess Tiana, and that's just my fault. So now I have two Princess Tianas in the blue dress, dancing. And I don't know, I might um, let the baby have one, you know, take it out of the box and let her, because she has a Princess Tiana, like, um, Barbie doll, and that she loves to play with and dress her up, and, you know, she comes out, where's Princess Tiana? So I might give it to her. Or I might uh, try and sell it somewhere else online. Or, you know, this could be a giveaway of some sort. I don't know. I don't know how to work that out. But um, if people are interested in a giveaway, I might do that. It would only be Princess Tiana at this point unless I somehow buy a duplicate of something else. But I thought in my mind when I saw that other Princess Tiana, I knew I had one. But I thought she was just um, standing with, like, her hands in front of her. I didn't realize that she was also pulling... I didn't realize she was also pulling the dress to the side. So that's what I thought was the difference. But um, it is not... And now I also have a princess uh, of Rapunzel from the same set. If you see, here's Tiana and here's Rapunzel. I think I saw, I think I might have seen Ariel somewhere, but I gotta check again. But we're looking at Rapunzel and her braid is so cute and she's super cute. And then the last thing I got from Michael was this Olaf holding kittens. And I'm like, I don't think there's anything else in this set. I think this is just a standalone random Olaf, but it's super cute. And it was the only one. And I don't think I, and at the time I saw it, I hadn't seen an Olaf anywhere else, like, at all. So, and I was like, Olaf may be a little rarer than I was expecting. So, give him a go. And now I've started my um, Betty Boop collection. Now, I didn't know that Betty Boop had her own pops until I came across one in the GameStop. And it was so cute. And I love Betty Boop. And so then I was like, well, I think I'll, um, I was like, this is one of the things I think I'd like to complete the set on. So I have an angel Betty Boop. And I also found a Devil Betty Boop in the same GameStop. And it was like, you know what? They're both coming. They're both coming with me. And they're still, they're so cute. I was surprised to have found them both. And I was like, if I was going to take a pop out of the box and display them, it would probably be some Betty Boops. And then I also found a Mermaid Betty Boop. Mermaid, and she's sitting on a rock. And look at her tail. And I like her little flower. I was like, I'd like to dress up as a Mermaid Betty Boop or an angel. I might, I might have to do... I might have to do a Betty Boop cosplay or something. I'm not exactly, um, like, I'm not opposed to anything. Why does she only have one earring? Do all of them only have one? No, this one has two. This one has two. Am I just missing it? Did it fall off? 
My angel Betty only has one ear loop, earring. You can see it here on the other side, and then she doesn't have one on this side. Huh. Huh. I wonder why. But I've got angel and devil, Betty Boop, and mermaid Betty Boop. What else is in this set? There's a Betty Boop and Pudgy. And then another um, Betty Boop and Pudgy, but like the elf Christmas version. A nurse Betty Boop, a sweetheart Betty Boop, a sock hop Betty Boop, and then an angel and demon like on here. Angel, demon, sock hop, sweetheart, nurse. Okay. And then what's on the back of the mermaid? Angel, demon, mermaid, sock hop, elf, sweetheart, nurse. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three out of eight already. I think we're making good process. Process. I think we're making good progress. And then from the Barnes & Noble, I found um, Far From Home Spider-Man, which I really enjoyed that movie. So I hope that, uh, you know, Sony and Disney can get their act together because I've had too many Spider-Mans in my lifetime. I'm ready to settle down. And I like this Spider-Man. I found Locke from Nightmare Before Christmas. You know what would have been really would have been really dope is if you could um remove his faceplate and he have a face underneath but really excited about lock i really want to find shock and barrel but that's all i saw in well on that first side they had a whole like the whole length of a bookshelf of pops and it was already getting late and they were getting ready to close so we only made it through one half and not the other so this i also got mira from the barnes and noble from this newest uh aquaman movie and i really ooh, i don't see her on the back of this set i mean i see her on the back of this set but I really want Black Manta, and I really want a version of her in her jellyfish outfit. Oh, that jellyfish outfit was so pretty. Oh my goodness. I really want a version of her in the jellyfish outfit. I don't see that on the back of here, but that doesn't mean that they didn't make one, you know? So, I think there's one more bag of pops left. But I'm so mad I fell on that bag of... I'm so mad I fell on that bag. Because <laughs> now some of my boxes are jank. Some of the, uh, like, the Bandicoot boxes and Hot Girl. So I recently got these babes from GameStop. This is my most recent haul. I got a GameStop exclusive Mickey, Gamer Mickey, which I thought <laughs> I thought was so cute. His little facial expression. And then I got two different Gretzikos. Now, Gretzko is one of my favorite little Netflix shows. And I'm like, I identify with her on a totally different level. And so I got a regular Gretzko. And then I got um, a Rage Gretzko with a chainsaw. And I think the only one left in this set is Rage is Rage Gretzko. Like the, regular, like the regular one, and I, without the chainsaw. And I think I may have seen her in um, a four-year entertainment. So if I go back there and find her again, then I'll, I'll definitely complete this set. And then I got a diva, because the diva's super cute, from Overwatch. And then these two. I got a Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora from the Monsters, Inc. world. Which I haven't gotten to play Kingdom Hearts 3, but I love all Kingdom Hearts merch, so... It's not like they weren't going to get me with this one. And then a Monsters in Goofy, which I thought was just kind of fun and weird. Like, he turned into a weird monster, and it looks really cool. So, um, I think those are all the singular pops I have. And then this last one is um, a set, like a group of pops and one thing that I saw at the Spirit Halloween. And it is the Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus, all standing around a um, cauldron over the fire. And looks like they're chanting and looking and stuff, and it's so cool. It was, um... A little expensive as compared to you know what the other pops cost but like you get a whole scene so i totally understand i'm a little mad about aggressico's box her little ear is all bent up because i fell on it <laughs> but other than that everything's okay with them i need to get something to display them on but i'm very happy with my collection so far i think i'll just you know i make update videos as they come or every few months or something if i get some new pops i'll show them off but these are the pops that i have i think i'll try to complete some sets but I'm not out there. So I'm looking for number 562. Da, da, da. I mean, if I come across it, cool. But if not, then, you know, I'm happy with the ones I got because they're characters I know and enjoy and love. And this is a little fun hobby to get into. My friend, one of my friends at work, also collects pops. And so for his birthday, our little work party, we um, put money in the pot to get him a couple of pops. And they had me go to the store to pick them out. And I got him a, um, a Hot Topic exclusive Deku because he really likes um, My Hero Academia. And also a um, 80th anniversary Iceman from Marvel. So he's really, really excited about that. And he's like, you've only been collecting pops for a few weeks and you already know about exclusives and anniversaries. And Because that Iceman, when I looked it up, he wasn't even supposed to be out yet. I think somebody put him out on accident, but the person still sold him to me. So whatever. So he was early, early access, I guess. <laughs> but these are all my pops. And I think since I already have the boxes up here for my next couple of videos, I might just film those in here too. I don't think I'm going to film a lot of videos in my closet just because uh, my legs are tingling. 
So that is all. I don't know how to really end this video because I'm going to be talking about pops, but hopefully you enjoyed what I have in my collection as much as I enjoy them. Sorry that my bun looks a little jank. I don't, I don't know. My hair's still wet. I don't want it on my neck, but then like it's limp still. So it'll look like nothing. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I guess I'll just keep updating as time goes on. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at all the pops that I've got in my collection so far. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, oh, before, before I turn it off, um, I realized that I haven't been saying anything uh, in my other videos. I guess, I guess the nervousness is always trying to turn the camera off. But um, hi, my name's Janae. I don't think I've been introducing myself, <laughs> like at all. Who comes to a thing and just watches a, my bad, hi, I'm Janae. My channel is just Janae because I can't be anything but just me. Um, I'm going to have a lot of things on here that are just things that I'm interested in. I'm not going to create a separate channel just in case, you know, I do one thing and I figure out that it's not for me. And then, you know, I have this whole separate channel with one video on it that I thought this is it. So I'm going to put everything on my original channel and um, I'll probably make playlists for you to keep it organized. But I can only be myself and that's what I'm going to be. And if people don't like it, cool. If people do like it, even cooler. So on that note, please like if you can. It's free if you enjoyed looking at my pops and enjoyed me and my uh, personality or, you know, lack thereof i don't know i guess it depends on who you ask uh like the video please subscribe i've got like i've got like three i've got like three subscribers and i'm so happy i i love my three we're a family we're up here my three subscribers but i'm so excited to have you guys be a part of my community i don't know what i'm going to do to include you guys more but i'm so excited to have you here so come join the family it can definitely get bigger even though you know power to us that are here i think we should have a nickname i don't know what it's going to be yet or maybe you can give suggestions my three people who subscribe to my channel but please subscribe please like it if you want to and uh have a great day time night anything that pertains to great and the span at which you are up i don't know what time of day you're watching this but i hope it's great bye <laughs>